of mixed reality. And we've all heard of virtual reality, but what about mixed reality? When research team talks about it, technology that straddles two realms. Well, virtual reality has been around for over a decade, and although it's made its mark in movies like The Matrix and Star Trek, it's much more of a fantasy in real life. Is this reality? Is this fantasy? In 2008, the great transition truly began. Whereas a decade earlier we used to log in to cyberspace, now we began to semi-permanently inhabit virtual space, and the digital world started to leak out into everyday life. It began to infiltrate our shopping malls and became integrated with our everyday lives. Humanity started the relentless journey towards the natural future where virtuality became a greater reality and where digital fantasy and organic reality were inextricably intertwined. Through the early 2000s, pervasive wearable computing started to break down the walls that used to separate our virtual existence from our physical one. This same technology also allowed us to embed ourselves seamlessly into virtual worlds, which is where we could truly experiment future forms of entertainment, art, education and business. In these new places we became the real-time living celebrity. Many of us became avatar stars, pixel gods, exalted as those linear film and TV icons. This became the only place for many. By 2007, hardcore gamers were already spending 55 hours per week inside these shared worlds and learned to forget about the real world. This became the place where their most meaningful hours were spent. Everyone began to blend the two domains, combining them in new ways, driven by an invisible urge. Thus started the global meshing of today's mixed reality. But in 2009 questions were asked. As in the many films that hinted at our transhumanist future, would the physical embodied self ever become redundant? Would we truly evolve as self-contained digital entities? May we as well be slumped in a chair with a cable plugged into our heads? Regardless, as the real world became inhospitable, we all started to crave for the immersion and began moving our physical selves into these spaces. Even more than that, we wanted our peers, our unvirtual audiences, to be able to share our experiences there. It became a contagion as the most poignant moments and memories were the ones in virtual space. But we needed to look beyond these screens and into our own souls, find the truth written along the thin white line that separates analog from digital, person from avatar. This was the beginning, it always was. As far as the meshing or blending of reality and virtuality, in 2009, they were the equivalent of grainy black and white movies 70 years earlier. Our experiences were simultaneously part real, part virtual, but it didn't matter which was which anymore. Both were valid, and they depended on each other. Those early parallel existences of 20 years ago started to move humanity forward released our imaginations and we coexisted with our precious and ultimately fragile physical selves. The Great Crossing had begun.